Reverend Olbi Conte, the pastor of Bethany Baptist Church. Today we are going to study God's Word. And we're going to look at John chapter 8, verse 1 to 11. The woman caught in adultery. We want to look at this scripture. And there are questions that I'll be asking, and you will be responding to those questions. I'll give my view about those questions, but I want you to discuss as a group, as an individual, what's your view? I believe it will be a blessing to each one of us. Let's go and see the scripture. What it is. We are looking at the woman caught in adultery. What is adultery? Adultery is sexual intercourse by a married person with someone other than their spouse. And adultery was regarded as a great social wrong as well as a great sin. So that's what we want to look at. And in that scripture, a woman was caught in adultery and was taken to Jesus to see what is Jesus' opinion about this woman, about the sin that he had committed. But let me share with you that according to the laws of Moses, these people were not wrong in wanting to stone the woman to death. But interestingly, when they came to Jesus, Jesus made them to see adultery from a broader perspective. From the question Jesus asked the men, I want us to discuss the answers. The first question I want to ask, what do you learn about Jesus in the story? You can share with people your opinion, what you learn about Jesus in the story. But let me share with you a few things that I learned about Jesus in the story. One thing I learned is that Jesus did not condemn the woman. In verse 11, it says, She said, No man, Lord, and Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. So Jesus did not condemn the woman. That's one thing I learned about Jesus in this passage. Another thing I learned about Jesus in this passage is that Jesus does not condone sin. You know, in the same verse 11, Jesus said, Go and sin no more from the King James Version. The NIV says, Live your sin, live your life of sin. So he did not condemn the woman, but told the woman to go and sin no more. Jesus hates sin, but love the sinner. You see that also clearly in that same verse, that he hates sin. He said, go and sin no more. That tells you that he's not in favor of sin. So I see that, but he loves the woman. Another thing I learned about Jesus in that passage, that Jesus gave the woman opportunity to change her life. Go and sin no more. It's an opportunity for that woman to go and change her life. And this is what God does for us. He gives us opportunity to look at our lives and see, what have I done? And I need to go back and say, Lord, forgive me. What do you learn about Jesus in this passage? Share with people what you've learned. But there is another question I want to ask. What do you learn about the actions of the teachers of the law and the Pharisees? This is time to share what you learned about that with colleagues, with your family. But let me share a few things I learned about the teachers and the Pharisees. One thing I noticed is that they were always looking for a way to trap Jesus. And I see that very clearly in verse 6. In verse 6, it said, This they said, tempting him, that they might have to accuse him. You see, they were looking for a way to accuse Jesus. That's one thing I learned that they were looking for an opportunity, always. 
Something else I learned about this. They were able to recognize that they were sinners. I see that in verse 7 to verse 9. You realize that when Jesus, when they asked Jesus about the woman, Jesus continued writing. But later, Jesus said, if there is anyone among you who have never seen before, let that person be the first to throw stone. And he realized that each one of them, the Bible says each one of them left one after the other, realizing that, yes, I am also a sinner. That's one thing I learned about them. They realized that they are sinners. There is something else I learned about these people. They know the law and tries to follow it. Verse 5. That's what they said. said. Moses in verse 5, it says, Now Moses in the law commanded us. They know the law. That there is a command that when somebody commits adultery, that person should be stoned to death. So they know the law and want to follow it. Can you share with somebody what you learned about these people, the teachers and the Pharisees? Let me ask another question. What do you learn about the woman caught in adultery? Share with somebody. But let me share with you what I learned. She did not defend her wrong. You know, when the, when the, when the teachers brought this woman, she didn't say a word that I did not do it. You know, even when Jesus said, go and sin no more. She did not say, no, Jesus, they only accuse me. But rather she went, showing that indeed she knew that she was guilty and ready to go and change. She did not defend herself. How many times have you defended yourself even when you know you are wrong? Think about it. We've looked at these people. But let me ask you, in this entire story, what lesson do you learn from the story? Personally, what do you learn? I've learned a lot from the story. Let me just share with you. One thing I learned from the story is that I realize I am also a sinner and needs forgiveness like the woman. In Romans chapter 3, verse 23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. I, this is one thing I learned. That all of us need forgiveness like the woman. I also learned something. I learned that I should rebuke with love. You notice what Jesus said? Where are those who accuse you? Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. He rebuked that woman that that woman should go and sin no more, but with love, not condemning that woman, but looking at that woman that she has an opportunity to change. So this is something I learned also from this passage. I also learned that I should not condemn but need to give people opportunity to change their sinful life giving people opportunity you know they said in the court of law people are seen innocent until found guilty but in the Christian law people are guilty before they are found innocent but this is something that I've learned that I need to give people opportunity to confess rather than just condemning them. How do you treat sinners today? Think about it. I want us to reflect on these questions and I ask God to show you where you have gone wrong in your life. Where you have gone wrong in dealing with people who have committed sin. Can we pray that God will show you what you have done? 
each of the, the, the teachers and the Pharisees went one after the other realizing what they have done. Can you think what you have done? That you need forgiveness. Just think about how you've seen people who are sinners, what you've said about them. Can you just think what Jesus said about this woman and ask God where you've gone wrong about others who have committed sin? Father, may your word be true to our hearts and may the reflection help us to grow better. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Continue studying God's word.